Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a crafting table in Minecraft. This build and every block build will fit in with all of your others really really well. And yeah, that's all I have to say about this really. So let's just get started. So before we start the build everyone, I just want to mention that this build once again was given by a comment and you should see it on the screen right now. Thank you to that person. Um, for your suggestion. Just to let you know, if you would like to leave a suggestion, feel free in the comment section. I will try to make it if um, if I don't get too many comments, I will try to get your idea in. And yeah, so without any further ado this time, let's get started. So before we start building everyone, here are all the materials you'll be needing to make your crafting table. Um, make sure you grab all of these and this will be for the entire crafting table so grab them as it um and that's it really so the block space you will be needing to make your crafting table is a 16 by 16 grid on the floor make sure you make this in your walls; it will help you very very much and that's it so once you've grabbed all of the materials made your grid in the world we can begin So, let's kick off the build everyone, come down to the bottom left corner of your grid, if you've made it. On this block, place a black concrete. Go left by 6 using your spruce planks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Place 2 black concretes, 6 spruce, 6, and then a black concrete on the end. You want to repeat this for all of the sides, all four of them, all, all the other three, but yeah, 6 spruce. Two duck, two black. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one black. You then want to place another six spruce. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, two black, six spruce, two, three, four, five, six, and a black. Just like that. Then want to do. You can copy this off the other side, but six spruce, two black, then connect it to the front using your spruce. This will give you the base layer for your crafting table. Very, very e easy. The next bit we want to do is on the every one of these black, every one of these two sections, you want to place three dark oak on top. Row black, three dark oak row, one black, three rows of dark oak, one black. And you want to place two rows of dark oak. No, I don't know. No, one row of dark oak, two rows of spruce on top of this. Yep, and then connect out on the top side by one using your spruce. Then using your dark oak, you want to just connect up to the top of the build, just going around the outside of them two spruce rows we made like that. So you should have something that looks a little bit like that. I'm going to do this on all four sides, all the other three again. So yeah, you want to do three dark oak, one black, three dark oak, one black, one, two, three dark oak, one black, one dark oak, two spruce, and spruce on every side, both sides, and then two dark oaks to collect up to the top, just like that. They are really simple to make, and you want to do this, like I said, on every side. Two more sides to go now, so that's going to be three rows of dark oak, row of black, three rows of dark oak, row of black, three rows of dark oak, that's two, three, and a black. One more row of dark oak, two rows of spruce, two, two connecting out, and then two rows of dark oak connecting to the top. One more time, that's it. One, whoops. Three rows, one row black, three rows of dark oak, one black, three rows of dark oak, one black, one dark oak, two rows of spruce, connect out on the top, and then two black, two dark oak planks, connecting up to the top, just like that. So you should have something that looks like that, which shapes the crafting table very very well 
The next bit I want you to do, which really I should have done a bit earlier actually, is to grab your black concrete, I think your black concrete, and come down to every one of these corners and just connect them up to the top by 15. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. As you'll notice they will connect, they will line up with the pillars that we made earlier so you can just, if you want, you can just connect up instead of counting to 60 you can just connect up like that it's a lot easier to see instead because I hate trying to line up rows of black concrete because you can't see where it ends or anything because it's a bit weird that when you have lighter colours, but anyway, once you've got that it's perfect right Next bit we want to do is we want to place three rows of spruce. I want to make the tools now, actually. Alright, place a row of spruce, one row of oak, light grey concrete left, there's another light concrete left, and then one on top. White in this gap, and then do two left of them. Place four black concretes on top of this white, two, three, four, to give you what looks a bit like a hammer, I believe. I think it's a hammer, yes. The next bit we want to do is we want to come down to this side of the crafting table and we want to place three rows of oak. Oops. One. White to the left of it. Right of it even. Two white on top. Left right by one. Two on top. Right by one. One on top. And then join all of this together like that. It's a row of light grey, a row of black, up by two on either side. Come on, there you go. Connect, in, connect to the top like that. That will give you a saw. We now want to come to the right side of your crafting table. And we want to start in the left half of this right side. And we want to place three oak planks, one spruce, two oak planks. A light grey um, left, white on top, a oak going left, white on top, I believe, yeah, white on top, white to the left, go down with all light grey off this white, and then place two spruce in this gap, just like that. There's two black concretes on top of them spruce. They look like cutting pliers, but you can't really see them at the moment because of the amount of different oaks there are in there, or different planks even. And then I want to copy what's on the other side, we don't want to copy it exactly. First we're going to do the hammer, which is like opposite the saw, and the saw is opposite the hammer. So that one's going to be the saw, that one's going to be the hammer. Anyway, I want to place a light grey, light grey on top, light grey going left, two whites, and then whites like that. I want to place four black on top, that's two, three, four. That's your hammer complete. Now we want to do our saw. I'm going to come down to the outside bit. Yep, three oak planks. White concrete going left. Two oak planks on top. Going left. Two, two white. I've, I've been saying oak planks, haven't I? Anyway, yep, went one texture as well. Dear oh dear. Yeah. Alright, draw, join all of that together now. Place a row of light grey, row of black, two black on top of the eight either side and then connect it in the top like that. Now what you want to do is you want to make another pair of cutting pliers here. You want to get some three oak planks, one spruce, one oak, two oak planks. Then you want to place a light grey and then a white concrete on top. Oak, white concrete, a light grey underneath white concrete on top of the oak, spruce either side of the white concrete and then two black on top of the spruce give you all of your tools in so that is the majority of your table actually completed now you've only got like a little way to go so the next bit we want to do is we want to connect where all these black bits are on these pillars we want to connect them all through using spruce wood planks these are the two really tedious steps on the build. They take a long while and quite annoying to do. Especially this one because of the amount of stuff. But you just want to connect three rows of spruce going all the way around your build. 
it's gonna connect all the way through. So it should. So if even if there's tools there, even if there's like a holding tool, you want to join can connect it all through anyway. You want to just continue to do that just like that. So you want to have that on all three of the rows. Next one, we want to just connect it through. <coughs> <clears throat> and then you're just continue to move across. And if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to never miss another video. If you would like, you can leave your own suggestion um, to what block you might want to see me make next. You will get a shout out if your um, block is picked. Picked. You can also get me other builds as well. Have you seen the? Um, survival house I made, go check that out if you're in survival house instead of the blocks. Um, I will try a couple of them. I'm not sure if they're gone for very long. I might also try some city builds that I've got. I've only got one at the moment and it's a cool McDonald's. I might make that. But leave your suggestion. I'll see if you can, I can get back to you and make the build for you. And yeah, so if you want to like and subscribe, you won't be missing out. You there's videos uploaded every couple of days, but that's it. So, once you have this, the last step you want to do for the main part of the crafting table is filling it all in. Oh no. So you want to fill it all the sides in with oak wood planks, which takes a long time. I'm not going to fill them all in. I'm going to do one side for you on camera, and then the rest of it I'm going to cut out because it takes too long. It, it takes about 10 minutes to fill it all in, so... Probably not that long, I'm probably exaggerating a little bit there. It, it takes too long to have it on camera, but it's going to make the video way too long and it's quite unnecessary. So, once you have this side, pause the video if you need to, do all of them sides, and once you've finished all of that, um, we can continue. So, this is what your crafting table will look like once you've done all four of the sides and filled them all in. As you can see now, the cutting plies are very obvious to see now, much better. And the other side, and then them cutting plies there. So, all we have to do now is focus on the top of the build. Yeah, I hope you haven't filled in the top of the oak plants. I didn't make that very clear earlier, did I? So, the first bit we want to do at the moment is to get your oak planks, and you want to cut, I think it's oak planks, which I think it'd be easy to do oak first. So, have your oak planks, and in every corner you want to place a block, one to the left and one to the right. I don't know if I got that right. Yeah, a block on one either side of it. You're making like a like a circle inside the top of your cra tra um, crafting table, which is actually very similar to the barrel here. Probably the ex exact same actually. But you want to then place black concrete in front of all of the oak planks. We have to give you that shape like that. And this will knock off a, a load of space for you to work on which will help very very much so once you've done all of that so that's what all four sides look like now I don't know if that's still a circle or what look a bit more like a weird circle now but anyway you now want to place <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that two rows of spruce wood planks like that and then like that. It's a bit easy to show you, but you want to place two spruce planks like in front of all of the sides. And it'll actually connect. It'll connect to the rest of the table quite nicely. You should have that. As you see, it connects very nicely. It just like follows all the way down. Next, what we want to do is we want to grab our dark oak planks and we want to place a trim inside of this spruce area. Of dark oak planks to create um, a bit more colour in the top of the build and to also set us up the last step of the build. I'm going to give you another overview. You should have that. Now, we want to do the last step now is to grab your oak wood planks or spruce planks, even two spruce, one dark oak, two spruce, one dark oak, and two spruce. I want to place one spruce, whoops, 
one dark oak, two spruce, one dark oak and two spruce. You can now connect all of your dark oak planks through to the other side to create like the crafting table grid you see on the top of the crafting table and if you open a crafting table you'll see like in your user interface the crafting table grid you should have that then you want to fill all of these spaces in with spruce wood planks you should fill every one of these in just like that and then you want to fill in the last row it will look very very nice so you should have that and believe it or not everyone that is actually your build the crafting table 100% fully completed well done so I'm gonna um, clean up all of the numbers on all of the mess on the floor like all the numbers in that and you'll see it in a minute so this is what your crafting table will look like once it's been 100% fully completed if you do like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to never miss another video. Don't forget to leave a suggestion as well as it will help out the channel, and you can get your name and your channel shouted out in the video, like you did when, like you saw in this video. I might not make your build straight away if I've got other suggestions. I might not make it straight away, but I will hopefully get it, do it eventually. All of these builds here that you're seeing here are all made into the tutorial, so make sure you go check them out as well. They're very cool. But without any further ado, well, I mean, not without any further ado, I'll see you guys next time.